probably be giving today because I heard everybody say, I haven't had lunch. Well, how would that actually translate into a mental health problem? I haven't had lunch. Anybody, how does that translate into uh, perhaps a mental health issue? Yes, Murray. Did everybody hear that? If we don't eat, report that again. Well, if you don't eat, you don't think properly. So if you don't eat before one class, guess what? You're not going to do one class properly. Okay. So that's one of the conversations that will be perhaps an issue to contend with. How well do we eat? Not only how many times, but what is it that you eat? Okay. When do you eat? Understanding that sleep is a conversation we may have some have a conversation uh, have a talk about. Sleep is an active state. What do I mean when, when I say sleep is an active state? What happens during sleep? Head, shoulders. Get y'all students to come on stage. So this is the campus. I'm standing in front of the cafeteria. So this is just a small peak of the campus. Much bigger than our previous school. All right, y'all, excuse my appearance right now. I don't know how I look, but oh well. Um, it is currently like 2.50 and the orientation is not over with. I gotta hurry up because my phone's dying. But I'm walking back to my car. We've got a pretty far walk. So um, I'll fill y'all in later on today because like I said, I'm on 5% and I can't even see my phone screen right now because it's bright out here. But yeah, overall it was a great day. I'll tell y'all about it later. Okay, so I'm getting another quick video for y'all. Right now we're in front of the Health and Science Center. I don't know what this building is. Right, That right there is the gym. I don't know if they have two gyms or what, but that gym right there is the only one I know of for sure is right there. But we're going to the other side of that. Yo, so this is the gym I was telling y'all about from there and this is the parking lot and I'm all the way on the end. So I'm gonna cut off the video now because like I said, probably on like 2% now. And I don't want my phone to die and then corrupt the footage. Also, it is Wednesday, August 3rd, 9.48 a.m. And I am on campus. Campus of St. Augustine University. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the campus. Campus of St. Augustine University. Um, my latest school 
and I have to meet with my advisor to create my class schedule. So I'm here and I'm taking y'all with me. This will be a continuation of my SAU orientation vlog. I hope y'all ready. And I don't even think I gave an intro on the last one because the clips didn't start till I was there. It's your girl, T-Less Dosage, a.k.a. T the Trapper, a.k.a. Big Dosage, a.k.a. The Unshopping Shop the New, and I'm back with another video. If you're new here, hey, welcome. If you're not new here, hey, welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the Trap House. Turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss uploading from the Trap House because I mean really, we don't want to miss uploading from the Trap House. So, now that I got that out of the way, well, I'm getting out of breath. I should have brought my water. I got like 80 waters in my car, no cap. I just bought like two 40 packs from Sam's Club. And I should have grabbed them. But now look at me. Over here out of breath. Okay, I think this is where I need to be. Boyer building. It takes me 20 minutes to get here. Y'all spider on me. I'm gonna cut this short and I'm gonna just go and inform y'all about Friday's orientation so that I can insert those clips. Okay, so I actually don't like this footage. It was like a loud buzzing sound in the background. And yeah, so I'm still, this footage is for this video and another video, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover for this section. So what happened at SOAR? I got there about an hour and a half late. I got there late for personal reasons. I wasn't gonna go, but then I just, I changed my mind last minute. It was like, you know what, you're gonna go. So I pull up, I'm talking to my sister and my grandmother on the phone. I was emotional, I get out the car. I'm walking up to the gym. A lady walks out and she sees me and she's like, hi, are you here for sore? I said, yes. She said, um, why are you so late? I said, ma'am, because I was discouraged. Um, I wasn't going to come, but then I changed my mind. She was like, okay, come with me. So she had me get on the golf cart with her and she immediately started asking me questions. She asked me my name. She asked me was I a freshman or transfer because, um, the orientations will consist of mainly freshmen and transfers. That's it. And, um, so yeah, she asked that. And what am I trying to say? I'm gonna cut these parts. But she asked that and then she asked me if I had my associate's degree. I said, yes, ma'am, I do. She, she gave me congratulations, okay? And long story short, that woman was my guardian angel for the whole rest of that day. She made sure I got everything done that I needed to be done in a sense of what could be done at that moment throughout the day because their system was down and one of my transcripts still hadn't arrived yet and that was the main transcript that they needed to create my schedule. But she helped me with housing and so much, uh, so on and so forth. Like the desk that she went for me to make sure I got what I needed is she didn't have to do. Not saying she didn't have to do because I mean, I don't know if that was considered her job for her to be doing or not. But she went to great lengths. Like she knew me and she did it and she didn't have to do that. She took me under her wing and she made me feel so welcomed and immediately the way I was feeling before I walked off, I got out of my car in five minutes she totally uplifted my spirits and so that was my confirmation that this decision that i had made was the right decision as far as me deciding to focus on school now and on top of that move on campus and etc etc after that she drove me to the team to the rest of the group of students who were already on the tour i think they had to, just took the tour so she dropped me off to them told me get in line i got in line we went to the gym in the gym they gave like a little presentation they talked they tried to have the students interact them freshmen won't effing with it okay they was not trying to play them games baby okay i was by myself i just sat on the bleachers by myself minding my business i got called a freshman and i'm sure if there were other transfers there as well they got called a freshman the whole entire ceremony on well event of course like fall semester it's a whole lot of freshmen coming in and even like spring semester is freshmen coming in but they're not gonna say freshmen and transfer because it's probably one transfer to 20 freshmen and i'm not this is not accurate numbers this is just me giving you a gist of it so they're not gonna say for hey freshmen and transfers they're gonna be like hey class of 2020 um 2026 and i'm gonna be like hmm baby baby i'm 2024 i think I'm 2024, so period. But um, I mean, you don't have to open your mouth. It's not like they talk to you directly or whatever. But um, so we was in the gym, they did that. They made sure people had signed the Falcon landing, you know, the our mascot, okay, cool. So then we um, did that, we lined up people who didn't have their schedules yet, sent them to advisors, um, well, to whatever part of staff that was at tables, did that. We ended up leaving, got sent to the auditorium, had another presentation go on, some more. And then they sent us to the CAF. It was Friday, right? 
but I guess they was decided that they're gonna do the specialty because I guess fish Friday and like fried chicken Wednesday are like the specialties and so they was like we're gonna cook fried chicken for these students on a Friday just like a specialty so that it was fried chicken Wednesday but on a Friday and they had the fried chicken the candy yams the mac and cheese the the turnip greens I think those are turnips those show on no collars and then they had desserts um I think it was like peach cobbler or apple cobbler something like that and they got the salad bar and I guess they had pizza. I don't know, I didn't see it. The cafeteria is very, the cafeteria is not that large, but it's still a decent enough size. Um, you gotta think not everyone is gonna be in that cafeteria at once. People have different schedules. And so they'll fall into the cafeteria at whatever time. Some people don't even sit down and eat in there, they leave. So it's, that's just what it is. But um, I sat down, I ate, I was by myself. And that same woman I told y'all about, she came over to me like at the five minutes of me sitting by myself. And I'm glad that I was like first in line too. Oh, first of all, let me say this. Um, of course I told y'all I got there late. So I got there late, I don't, I probably don't have some of the same, I wasn't informed some of the same stuff that other people wasn't, wasn't informed, that other people were informed, but that's my fault because I got there late. I, I wasn't gonna come, remember? So I get in line, I'm in line, and I'm like one of the first ones in line. And they weren't trying to let us in there at first, but then they did. So it's one of the lunch people, I don't know exactly what her position is. It don't matter according to the story. Just know she's someone who works in the cafeteria. She looks at me and she says, okay, where's your ticket? I said, ma'am, I don't have a ticket. She, she, her whole facial expression changed. Mind you, I don't know nothing about a ticket because I won't there whenever they receive tickets, okay? So her whole facial expression changed. And I said it very politely. I wasn't rude, so don't think that. She immediately like bucks at me in a sense and is like, why don't you have a ticket? And she wrings her neck, props her hand out. Like, girl, who you talking to? It is not that serious. Why are you taking your job so serious? Okay, top flight security of the cafeteria. That's what you is. <laughs> Let me shut up. But so one of the um, leaders of store, I don't know what their exact title is, so don't don't come, don't say nothing to me. I don't know, but one of the leaders who's a uh, upperclassman as far as she's probably like, a, I think she said she was a sophomore when she introduced herself. Um, it don't matter. She's one of the people who were helping lead SOAR. Um, she interjected before I could even answer. I would have I would have been like, ma'am, I don't have one because I don't have one. Like. I don't even know if I would have been rude or not because she was rude as hell to me. But that girl interjected and she was like, ma'am, not everyone has one. The lady just looked at me and just shooed me in. Like, girl, don't play with me. Don't play with me. I walked my happy ass in there and I stood in line. And like I said, it was a great thing I was one of the first ones in line because that means I was one of the first ones to sit down. And like I said, that cafeteria is pretty small. So it was some empty tables, baby. I scoped out the table in the very back. And I sat in the chair with my back against the wall and I felt great. I was sitting there eating. Lady from earlier, she comes over there to me and she just point, um, she's like, come with me. So I come with her and I think she like got something to tell me or something. So I come over there, I sit down, I start eating. She's sitting with two other ladies at the table. And I think, I, I know one was like, I don't know if they was transfers or not, I don't know. But she has them introduce herself, introduce themselves. And um, by the time she got to the second girl, she I guess she probably wanted me to introduce myself too. But by the time she got to the second girl, she got a little sidetracked because the girl had said something that like sparked something for her to start a conversation from. So we sat there and then a little bit into the conversation, I was like, oh, so that's why you wanted me to come over here because I was sitting by myself. She was like, I sure did. And what you going to do about it? I was like, nothing, nothing. She didn't say it in a rude way. Like she just had so much personality. So that's just what it was. Um... She was like, I sure did, and what? I was like, yes, ma'am. So we sat there, we had a conversation. We talked about why I was moving on campus from my apartment. I said, and we was talking about how um, the inflation prices as far as gas and homes and rent, mortgages, stuff like that. And we had a nice little conversation and then they was picking on me because I was steady eating my chicken 20 minutes in. She like, you know, there's more chicken up there, right? You can go get some more if you want some more. I was like, I'm fine. So then um, we leave the cafeteria. We go back to the auditorium. And I think that's what it was, the auditorium, theater, something. Um, and then they have another presentation. They play games. And that's what y'all saw. Y'all saw some of these clips already. And then after that, um, they couldn't help me with anything else too much because... I, because like I said, they didn't have my transcript to create my schedule. And even if they did have my transcript, their system was down. And um, they just had to wait as far as me finding housing and stuff. Thankfully, my housing came through recently, um, a couple of days ago. So I have housing now. But um, she made sure I filled out my application, paid my fees and all that. She got me in there. 
um, as far as like making sure I did what I was supposed to do on my part so that everything else could align afterwards, God willing. And it did. Thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you, her, for that. Okay? Thank you, everybody, for that. But, um, so, yeah, after that, I left. And that was when y'all saw me walking away, and I was like, my phone finna die, blah, 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 blah. And that was sore. So, thank y'all for watching. Um, the next two videos, like this video, that's this portion right here, this was just coming from. It's also another video, like I said. So, I'm gonna have those labeled as, this is gonna be, um, sore. This is gonna be titled, Sore St. Augustine University Orientation, something along those lines, HBCU vlog, whatever. But um, those the vlog from yesterday and the vlog from today, because this is the next day. This footage right here was filmed yesterday. So yeah, today um, I I was out running other errands regarding um, the university. So those will be titled Daily Dosage Vlogs. And you know, Daily Dosage is my concept that I came up with for whenever I'm creating daily vlogs or whatever. So those vlogs will... Um, I think I'm going to have those two vlogs labeled as that because if I would have included all that footage from yesterday and today in this vlog, it would have been over an hour, probably two hours long. And that's too much storage for my phone or my iPad to even like load in one setting and be able to edit and then download then download again and upload. So yeah, um, just look out for those videos. They'll be titled accordingly. I'll figure it out as I get to it. But thank y'all for watching. Man, I'm I'm on a ship out of space, I'm a racketeer